Hello everyone, I'm Sanjay Gupta. I welcome you on Sanjay Gupta Tech School. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate a scenario based on record trigger flow. Let's understand the use case for record trigger flow. So I'm going to demonstrate subflow element that is available in record trigger flow. So if you use subflow element in record trigger flow, so you won't be able to call any other record trigger flow as subflow in uh, record trigger flow. So what you need to do, you need to create an auto launched flow and that auto launched flow you can call as a subflow in record trigger flow. So I'm going to demo this so that you can understand. So I'm just creating a new flow. So here I'm selecting auto launched flow clicking on create. So in case of auto launch flow, you don't have any option to select the object. So here I am just creating a record. So create contact. Then here I'm setting first name. So we don't have any uh, values here. So before that, I'm going to create a new record trigger flow. And this will be on account object. When account is created, then actions and related records. So here I'm going to select this subflow action. And here you can see we don't have any record trigger flow. And in my org, like for the demonstration, I created many record trigger flows. So account share, add user to a public group, all these are uh, like record trigger flows. Okay, but it is not showing them. So now I'm going to have this create record element, sorry, create contact. And here I'm populating first name as test first name. For last name, I'm populating as test last name. And I'm clicking on done, save, demo, auto launched flow clicking on save, activate. Now I'm just going to refresh this flow. So we'll see whether that auto launch flow is available in this record trigger flow or not. So, sorry, I need to select the subflow action. Yes, here you can see demo auto launch flow is available. So this way, if you create two record trigger flows, so you can't call a record trigger flow as a subflow for another record trigger flow. But if you create a auto launch flow and you activate that flow, so that flow will be available in uh, record trigger flow as a subflow. So call subflow. Right, so this flow will be called and uh, you can just click on done, right? So this way, whatever elements you have used here, so those will be executed when this record trigger flow will execute. So this is a workaround like uh, you won't be able to call a record trigger flow as a subflow. So instead of creating record trigger flow as a subflow, you can create an auto launched flow and you can call that auto launch flow as a subflow in the record trigger flow. Now you might be thinking, what is the use of this subflow scenario? So if you want to call a process into more than one flows, so in that case, your subflow will be beneficial. So you don't need to implement the uh, requirement that you implemented here twice. So you can just implement it once using auto launch flow and that flow you can call in any number of record trigger flow as required, right? So this is about how you can call 
subflow in record trigger flow with the help of auto-launched flow.